Ultramarine's successor chapter, The Void Stalkers, take on a mixed force of Siege and Death Guard in this 2000 point Warhammer 40,000 battle report. Welcome back to Warzone Morlock. As the alarm bells sound in the Morlock system, the great enemy breached the orbital defences. The foul stench of the vile Death Guard ensnares the people of Morlock. The Void Stalkers deploy under Chapter Master Rhaegar, with orders simply to hold the gate. All other concerns are secondary. Sinch and Nurgle share an uneasy alliance for a common cause, to breach the Church of Morlock. Ladies and gents, welcome back to Warzone Morlock 40k, the home of fully painted narrative driven Warhammer 40,000 games. Special guests in the house at this time, Dave and Rich from the Floorhammer podcast. Well, always, <laughs> yeah, nailed it. You've been yeah. practicing that. I have, yeah. <laughs> Thank God I got it right. <laughs> welcome to the Warzone. It's a pleasure to have you here. And we're going to be playing a 2,000 point game between the, the Void Stalkers Space Marines from Ultramarines Descent. Stand by. Thank you, Pax. Cheers, mate. <laughs> and we're going to be playing against 2,000 points of a mixture of Thousand Suns and bootlegged <laughs> uh, Nurgle Demons. <laughs> Just show your phone. Mm. And yeah, you know, okay, yeah show off the phone up and the, uh, yeah, we're not looking to any further. Oh. We're playing a Vigilus Ablaze mission mm. and you're going to talk about that right now. I am. Uh, Okay, it is Control the Gate, which is a Crucible of War mission. Oh, yes, it's going to be good. In front of you, you see the gate. Yeah, the, the gate is going to be represented by a building here, which we'll show you shortly. So, uh, the aim of the game is to have the gate at the end of the mission. So, the gate does do a few things, but the, uh, the key bit is that you can only call your reserves in if you control the gate and they have to be set up within three inches of the gate and more than nine inches away from enemy units. So it's going to be quite Brilliant. interesting. Yeah, yeah, as the attacker, our, our intention is to have demons burst out of the church because uh, the Imperium deserves a Blasphemy. Very grim dark. So Richard, you're playing as the uh, Nurgle. Yep. Yeah, and it's a combined force with a thousand suns. And me and High Fleet Vienna and Dave are going to be playing against, playing with the Void Stalkers as one com combined force. And I've got a new chapter master who's running a bird lion. We are killing him. Yeah. Turn one. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a big hammer. He's going to die turn one. Yep. <laughs> Bet's in now. Yep. Odds not taking cash. He looks pay. good. He looks really you promised good. him money to people again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that didn't pan out well last time. No, it didn't because everybody started claiming it. And I didn't, think anyone was, I didn't think anyone was watching that far into the video. So, £100 if you make it to the end and enter the code that I say at the end of the video. I'm not paying. <laughs> Dave's got a terrible joke, so stand by and feel free to tap away and skip it. Okay, so... <sighs> <laughs> so... The, <laughs> go to your happy place, girl. The, uh, how, the night houses... Um, so everyone knows the night is piloted by a noble, right? But uh, the houses stop the nobles from going on pre-battle drinks. Um, in the run up to the battle, the night before the battle. So, why did they stop them from going on those drinks? Pray tell, Dave. You don't know? No. Well, it's because the nobles kept getting lost in the night. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! You'd love it. Unsubscribe now. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000 points, Warhammer 40,000, narrative battle report coming up. Let's do it. 2,000 points of Void Stalkers Space Marines. Here we are, uh, brand new character. We'll start there with um, Captain on a bike for the purpose of the rules. So don't expect too much, but I'm hoping he gets to smash something with his hammer. Is that a top knot ponytail? He has got a top knot because um, he's been hanging around with Patrick at the Bad Moon Cafe, London's <laughs> premium wargaming venue. Smooth. Right. <laughs> Smooth transition. Don't forget your flat whites. Oh yeah, also he drinks flat whites, but we can't muddle one. Down here, we've got um, a battalion, two HQs, we've got a captain who's going to be the warlord, and a lieutenant uh, with a power sword. So the captain has a power sword, bolt rifle. Three squads of five intercessors, one of which has a thunder hammer. 
Um, also at the back I've got a set of five Reavers. I have a Redemptor Dreadnought with the Heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon, Flamer and an Icarus Pod Rocket Launcher. And then in the, at the, yeah, go there, Aggressors times, how many have we got? Six? Six Aggressors, Bolt Storm Gauntlets. Part of the Vanguard, yeah, part of the Vanguard, yeah. Uh, we've also got at the back the new, brand new Pl Repulse Executioner, which I've just finished painting. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's uh, covered in transfers from the Adeptus Custody Sheet. It's got all the guns, all bristling, all whistles. <laughs> I'm not going to list them because everybody knows what it's, it's got. It's a sexy beast, really. It's purple, not pink. Comment <laughs> section. <laughs> also, we've got brand new Last Fusil Eliminators and also normal eliminators over there and they've got a lieutenant with them making another formation Spear. spearhead we have an ancient primaris ancient there in the middle with a brand new bit of artwork as a flag and also 10 hell blasters finishing up the army going to be running them today as ultramarines so they're an ultramarine successor chapter in the law and so all the benefits and buffs that come with the ultramarines will be in play Right, so the Forces of Chaos, we are looking at a Battalion and a Vanguard Detachment for 9 command points, so one less. So I'll go through the Thousand Suns first. So you've got a Demon Prince of Zinch, represented by the uh, lovely Age of Sigma model, if I do say so myself. Someone has to. And uh, an Exalted Sorcerer on a disc. So behind those, you've got 15 Zangors. Uh, they are Karak Acolytes from the Age of Sigmar range because I don't like the look of Zangles. Controversial. And then carrying on with the proxy models, this is a Hellbrute. So it's actually the Forge World Siren Dreadnought, the Thousand Sun specific one. But uh, in this game he's going to count as a Hellbrute with a Plasma Cannon and a Hellbrute uh, Power Scourge, I think it's called. And then we've got five Scarab Occult Terminators uh, with the Sorcerer at the front and just in front of those just five Rubric Marines making up the uh, the rest of the troops just to the right of that you've got the Mauler Fiend so this is a Thousand Suns Mauler Fiend uh, with uh, the Lash Tendrils as opposed to the Magma Cutters and just at the back next to the, the uh, Nurgle Forces you've got two Chaos Spawn which uh, are from my old Tomb King selection, rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> okay, it's Filthy Nurgle time. I have got the other half of the battalion and vanguard that we've got, so starting with two units of Plague Bearers, um, 22 in each, I managed to squeeze into our points limit. At the back there are uh, the uh, Terminators, represented by Age of Sigmar models in uh, Dave style, and then I've got the... Um, Yes, it's the Putrefier. It's the guy with the horrendous flamer, whose name I forget, never mind. Uh, next to him oh, is... Foul oh, Foul Blightspawn, thank you, Dave. <laughs> then I've got the um, Lord of Contagion um, from the uh, Dark Imperium box set. And doing a bit more model repping myself, I've got the Leviathan standing in as a Hellbrute uh, with a dual Laz Cannon and the Power Scourge represented by the Grinding Fist. And then we've got the Plague Burst Crawler uh, with the Rothhell Folly Gun and the Entropy Cannons. On this side, the Void Stalkers are holding the gate, which is represented by this building, which is the exact width which we measured that is described in the mission. We have Hell Blasters holding strong in the ruins. We have the Ancient, the Dreadnought, Steve the Bird Lion Man, the Aggressor. It's gonna stick. <laughs> it's gonna stick. Uh, a heavy defensive line, snipers on roofs, and over here, Rich, you want to talk about your the chaos setup? We deployed in a very tactical uh, horde of chaos mentality <laughs> where we put all of our nicely disposable demons on the front line, uh, backed up by the Terminators and the Dreadnoughts on the flanks, Yes. and uh, the Demon Prince is there ready to get stuck in, and on this side we have the War Machines 
Oh yeah, it's the a bit tasty. Paper is crawling, lurking at the back, going to lob in some horrible, horrible bombardment. Strategically on the other side to the repulsor. Yeah, well, trying to get as far away from that thing as possible. And the Mauler Fiend is ready to tear lumps out of any space marines it can get to. Brilliant. And then these rubrics are doing their own thing. Yeah, they've just... Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to forget about them. The wind, some Zinchian plan. The wind caught the dust and pushed them to the left. In reserve. So here we are. In reserve, yeah. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too, Too soon. soon. 10,000 years. And what have we got in reserve? So we have put the uh, Plague Bear as a unit in reserve, along with the Cow Spawn, because we felt that those guys popping out the church, uh, or the gate, uh, when we finally seize control of it, would be uh, pretty awesome. Okay, and in reserve we've got five Reavers, which are going to be game-changing. No. <laughs> <laughs> on we go for turn one. There's no Cs, so we're straight into it. Yep, so we advance with most of our units because we've got to take that gate. So things like the Terminators and the uh, infantry moved up. Um, Demon Prince is swooping around the back of the, oh, yeah, there uh, we go. the mini church, backed up by the Siren Dreadnought. The skin burning Hellbrew. through proximity. Hellbrew, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Hellbrew. Got their eyes on uh, on some first turn charges if we can manage them. Uh, the plague bearers advanced with an advance roll of a two because I didn't want them getting in the way of the Karak acolytes and wanted to get closer to those lines. Didn't trust that charge on turn one. Time for a bit of uh, psychic action from oh, Dave because yeah. I have none in my army. As a uh, Black Templar <laughs> main player, uh, this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Psychic phase. So I'll, I'll recap it in one word. Or two words, I should say. <laughs> Soddle. <laughs> this is what happens when you dust off an army after not using it for ages. Do yeah, yeah they, they came back and bit me. Um, having said that, the um, mini smites went off, and I actually got a, uh, a normal smite off, because I rolled an 11. Yeah, powerful, and it killed a Hellblaster who fired off some shots thanks to the flag of the Emperor Ascendant. Took two wounds off. And took two wounds off the uh, beastie over there. Always overwatch if you're already dead. Indeed. <laughs> um, yeah, Exalted. the Exalted Sorcerer tried to glamorous inch the Rubric Marines and failed miserably, and then tried to smite uh, the Intercessors in front of him and failed miserably. Yes. Uh, I did, however, get a smite off with this uh, Terminator Sergeant, Aspiring mm -hmm. Sorcerer, uh, who got off his mini smite and did one wound to the Intercessors. So him there on the left, he's down to one wound. And I cast Zinch's Firestorm with the Demon Prince over here, and he managed to do two wounds to the uh, Eliminators at the top. Powerful. So one of those is gone. Uh, and who else died? There's another guy died up here. And he also used a smite. Um, because he has the normal smite, he managed to do uh, two wounds as well. That's right. So our current dead pile consists of one Last Fusil Eliminator, one Bolt Rifle Eliminator, and one Hell Blaster. First unit to shoot, Dusty Boys. Yep, so it's four Inferno Bolt guns and uh, that's it because the Bolt Pistol is out of range. Yeah, and we're shooting to get the Hell Blasters in the ruins. Yes, that is a big target priority for me. Let's do this. That's good, so that's three hits. Strong style. And then fours, but it is AP minus two. Uh -oh. Great stuff. Oh dear. <laughs> Welcome to my dice rolling. We've survived the first barrel. Okay, so it's time to fire the Plague Burst Crawler. I am going to fire the Entropy Cannons at the Redemptor. Oh. The Rothhell Volley Gun will go at the Intercessors on the front lines. And the Plague Burst Mortar will be firing at the Aggressors. Wonderful. So what are we going to go with first? Let's do the Plague Burst Mortar at the Aggressors first. Okay. So I get D6 shots. So it's three. Three shots. And it's hitting on fours, uh, so one hit, and then wounding on threes. You've only gone wounded. Yep, so five plus. Oh, I've only gone seven days. Here. All right, Roth Hell Volley Gun at the uh, Incessors then. Uh, that is two hits. Oh. And strength six, so that is one wound minus two. So again, looking for a five. No. That's a wound. Nice damage, they're, one. So they're three, they're three wound models now, aren't they? So. They are, this was against the intercessors though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's against the intercessors. Oh, yeah, okay. so one of those is down to one wound. Okay, and two entropy cannon shots at the Redemptor then. Uh, that is one hit. Uh, strength eight, is he tough? Is seven or eight? 
seven I'm going to go with. going to go with wound on threes then, we'll double check that. Nope. Uh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Does it doesn't not matter. matter. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> and that's him done. Next up to shoot is the occult terminators. Scarrow occult terminators. For their formal proper name. <laughs> yeah. And you're shooting at? The, yeah, they're going after the aggressors because those things are going to shoot twice and they absolutely terrify us. Um, so I'm hoping with my 20 shots being terminators, um, I'm going to be able to take out a few. They are only strength four, but they are AP two. Yeah, it's a dice rolling game, so let's see how we get on. All right, so lots of shots coming in. Oh dear, and oh dear, so I need fives now. Yeah, not so hot on that roll. Not hot That's at fine. all. The singular. So AP two, is it? Will the unit survive? <laughs> so looking, looking for a five plus, eh? Ooh, no, no, we've fail. taken one of our three wound. wounds apiece. Take a wound, sir. Take that wound, take it. Oh! To shoot. The foul blight spawn will target the hell blasters with his assault weapon after he advanced. Tasty. So it is D6 number of shots. So it's oh. six. Oh, there we go. It uh, hits automatically. Mm -hmm. So I now have to roll the strength, which is 2D6. So strength eight. <laughs> It's AP minus three and three damage. Oh, we're in a bad way. Yeah, it's a, we it's a hell of a weapon. <laughs> right, that rolls to wound. That is going to be five saves, AP minus three. Easily done, watch this. It's looking for fives. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Five save, come on. How many damage are they apiece? Three. Each oh, no. Oh. So, <sighs> do you want to roll for the. Um, yes, if they can off there. Oh, yes. For the fancy banner. <laughs> So we're looking for fours. Oh look, there's oh, him! <laughs> you! Oh. you. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's coming next. Uh. Okay, so five hell blasters um, shooting at the Maul of Fiend. Oh god. So we're supercharging, two shots apiece because of the range. What if they die? Um, <laughs> I'm, they're not going to be bothered. We're not bothered, we're not bothered. Looking for threes. Mm. The re-roll buff aura of Steve, the, the lion bird man. Yep. So now it is... Se uh, seven hits, so we're looking for threes to wound. Oh, We've done well. Ooh, yeah, that's six wounds. Yeah. AP minus three on those, is it? Four. Four. Minus four. Demon saves. Yep. Five up in runs for the demon save. Oh, oh, there oh. You you've done all right. So he's lost two. eight wounds. How many was he on? Ten? Ten. He's down to two. Quick maths. Yeah. Void stalkers. Okay, so the Hell Brute is going to fire two Laz Cannon shots at the Repulsor. Um, I moved, so it's going to be minus one to hit. There's one hit, one miss. And it's a failed wound. Uh, I'm not going to command point it, I'm just let it go. Okay, no buffing auras of anyone nearby? No, not for, no. Not for Noble. Get away. The shoot is the Hell Brute against the little squad up there of uh, eliminators. Eliminators. Yep, so he's got a Hellbrute Plasma Cannon, which is a heavy D3. So two shots. Strong style. Hitting on fours because he moved. Oh. And that oh dear. adds up to four. <laughs> it adds up to four, so one goes through. No, it doesn't <laughs> get off the board. <laughs> and that is the next. Uh, they're line of sight problems because of that massive wall. So this guy will fire at the intercessors, everybody else at the aggressors. So go to the intercessors first. Uh, they all hit. Oh, oh. oh, strong style. Two wounds. You should do Dave. all your sides rolling. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, man. <laughs> is it a flat, uh, flat save here? Yeah? yeah. Three plus. Oh, one down, one good. So. And then the remaining unit will fire at the aggressors. Come on. Fives, yeah? Yeah. We'll do your fives. We're rolls on fives. Ooh. Uh, three, Dave. Looking for three plus. Oh, oh. that's bad. Oh. That'll do, that'll do. Okay, Six so damage each. <laughs> yeah, so he's down to one and he's gone. Nailed it. Well, the intercessor that died tried to fire because of the banner, but failed his roll, and that comes. Yeah, whack, whack. That concludes the chaos shooting phase. Moving on to the charge phase. It's going to be the hell brutes versus the aggressors. I've been informed reliably that I have to allow you an Overwatch phase. Apparently so. Get your we've, bucket out. We've got the dice prepared, but what's this? Stratagem. 
Stratagem from hell. Defensive focus. Yes. Three other uh, friendly units in a aura bubble. Yep, six inches of the targeted unit can also fire Overwatch. <laughs> so uh, Ultra means we're going a bit towish. Those Ultra mean Tau. Yeah. The Ultra Tau Empire is holding the the, uh, the gate. Ultra Tau Marines. Yeah. Right. So what ones are we going to pick? So we're going with the the Dreadnought's going to fire. That remaining unit of four intercessors. And this one here, the repulsor's just out of the six inches. Oh, Thank poor, God. Poor, <laughs> poor, poor us. Summarise the aggressor's overwatch shooting. We rolled over 60 dice. 70. Uh, over 70. Over 70 dice, in fact. Because they shot twice, plus with the grenade launchers rolling at 22 extra shots. <laughs> Against the dreadnought, they managed to shave off a grand total of... One wound. One wound. <laughs> yes. Chaos trembles in fear. <laughs> And then we'll move Ooh. on. Yeah, so not too bad. I mean, it had it been infantry, it would have been shredded, but it wasn't. It was a Leviathan <laughs> Dreadnought. The repulsor concerns me. Indeed. Let's see what happens next. Summarise all the extra units that fired the Dreadnought fired, the Intercessors fired, the Intercessors fired here. There was rerolls from the captain, from the lieutenant, from the, the Birdman, and from the lieutenant. And we still only stripped off one wound to the mighty Leviathan, hence us sparing you the agony of watching it. <laughs> so we're now we're going to watch... Uh, Rich roll a disgustingly brilliant roll to get his charge in. Yep. We're looking for what? Nine here. Can't nine... be done. That is a cock dice. dice. You can re-roll that. Oh, oh, point. Point. oh it's yeah, going to be a command point. point for another disgusting oh, roll. Oh, <laughs> he's failed miserably. Was <laughs> <laughs> all of one? It's a, yes, indeed, Void Stalkers. Is the Molophine? Yep. And we're going in against the Hell Blasters. Yep, need yep. a four. We've fired our overwatch and we've not hit a barn door. <laughs> so off we go for a strong four inches. That's what she here. said. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Turn one. Let's be lucky with four. Ooh. <laughs> We're in. <laughs> We're in. We've only got to made it in. Slide that bad boy. Another joke. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're moving on. The next unit to charge is going to be the Demon Prince. He's declaring a charge against uh, these snipers up on the top here. Now, first of all, we're going to fire some Overwatch with the uh, Instigator. Instigator Bolt Carbine. Yep, so it's one shot. It's an ineffective two. Uh, and now what we're going to do is something a bit saucy, as Ooh. per the uh, Eliminator's special mm. rules. Hey. They're going to withdraw, Dave, aren't they? Yeah. You've got a back they're going to... They're going <laughs> to do ninja backflips in pink armour, purple. Shh. And we're going to move away. So we're going to use our covering fire. Ability Explain that on to us, Dave. So after you've fired Overwatch with the Instigator Bolt Carbine, you can make a move Brilliant. to make it harder to charge you. So basically we've snuck down far enough away to extend the charge range a couple of inches. Which Make your own jokes. <laughs> and then... It's, so now a, it's now a eight and a half, so eight inches. Okay, so let's see if we can get that charge in. Come on. Yes! Oh, 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 he's only got a made it, so if you slide him all the way in. <laughs> that's the sound Demon Prince has made. Indeed. The first unit to actually fight is going to be the Mauler Fiend. Now, it's been raspberry considerably, <laughs> so it's only oh, attacking. One way of it. Yeah, it's only attacking on hitting on strength fours. Yep, strength four, and it only has two attacks with its fists now. Okay. And you're obviously going to be punching and lashing out at the Hell Blasters that remain in the fortified position. I will do, so I will start off with the Mall of Fing Fists. Uh, so only two attacks now. Demon Forge. Yep, uh, and oh, I have Demon Forge. Demon Forge, talk to me about Demon Forge. So uh, by using the stratagem Demon Forge, you can re-roll uh, attacks and wounds. With Powerful a, move. With a mm. Demon Forged vehicle. Is that all attacks, all wounds? That is, it's just attacks and wounds. Filth, we don't like Hits it. and wounds, I should hit, say. Yeah, hits and wounds. Okay, let's see it. Right, so just the two with the Morphine Fist now. Uh, so one hit, and I'm going to re-roll the other because it hits on fours. Nope. Ah, oh, strong. Um, so that is a fist. Um, and I will do the Lasher Tendrils next now before I wound with that one. So that was a lot better. That's a massive roll. One missed, but I'll re-roll that. Ooh, still missed. Curses. Uh, so the one fist attack is double strength. So now he's lost so many wounds, he has only strength four, but it goes up to an eight. So it's still wounding on, on twos. twos. So that goes through. 
um, and then the lashes tendrils. Uh, this is strength user, so now this is only strength four, so I'm hitting on fours Indeed. or wounding, wounding on, fours. on fours. But you, you are re-rolling any misses, which you rolling. There we go. So that's so four paid dividends, wounds. isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So what's the AP? Uh, so from the fist. It is minus three, and it's three damage, flat three damage. Uh, okay, so we're looking at a for six save. Do I get one for being in cover? Not, Not in combat. Not in combat, so six. Hey! <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> okay, next up is going to be the... The voice stalkers stand firm. firm. The lesser tender ones. Uh, so this Another is firm AD joke. minus two, and it's <laughs> flat two damage. So look at the fives. Oh, oh two I need down. two down. Yeah. Two down, do we get on? How many, how many, what damage is it? Flat two. Flat two, so two hell blasters do die. But, we, we're we're four, but they're gonna fire four again. Four. Okay. Four pluses. Will they get to fire again? One of them does. One does. Oh, yeah. So that's three attacks, isn't it now? Yep. Intercessor's the best attacking unit in the space yeah. So they, yeah, they, they, were, <laughs> they, were, <laughs> they were charged. Four threes. Oh, so Michael. I'm looking for fives now, I guess. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing, okay. Well, it was worth a go. Attack is going to be the Demon Prince, who's consolidate, uh, consolidated up a little bit, and is going to do some chopping. So, he is armed with two Malefic Talons. Yes, he is indeed. his four attacks turn into eight. <gasps> Seven. Plus Seven. Three, four plus three. Quick maths. Quick maths there, and the quick maths quick in the war zone. Good yep. work. Got my glasses on everything, I should be more intelligent. <laughs> right, uh, so, he is uh, Strength Seven. Uh, but is hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Nice. Oh, so man. We're in trouble, those, Dave. All of those are hit. He is strength seven, so threes, because he's not double. Wow. Ooh. So that is... That's a bad six, day at the office. Six wounds at minus it. two. So you looking for five? And that's them going. Nah, see you later. Back two damage. Too. Get off the board, eliminators, and uh, presumably, yeah, yeah, goodbye. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. Look at the paint jobs. Oh, oh they're nice. They're nice. Oh, What's yeah, he looking at? I've done them. He's, he's looking, looking, yeah. He's looking it into your soul. He hasn't even got them open. <laughs> That's why I didn't see the demon prints coming. <laughs> and presumably, he'll be consolidating into the closest unit that the, they are. Which is them who's going to be yeah, no doubt he, bound he, up. He would have been behind those intercessors. Uh, Bad times. The okay, so the back squad back here is a Thunderhammer sergeant will be attacking the Demon Prince who did consolidate into them. So we'll do the Thunder Hammer attacks first. Now they weren't charged, so they don't get the Shock Assault bonus. They were yep. consolidated into, so we'll take away one of those cheeky dice that I saw Dave sneaking into his hand. <laughs> I'll take them all away. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be a standard amount of attacks. So threes. With a Thunder yeah. Hammer, is he hitting on fours? Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. But he still did it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's two rules in a row I've remembered. Yes. <laughs> Sit down. Yeah, so my knees are going. <laughs> right, so that doubles his strength, doesn't it? To yeah. eight, so that's presumably the threes. Yeah. What have we got? What have we got? I think I get Lights to re-roll that one because of the... Yeah, we've got a captain. Uh, a lieutenant. Lieutenant. lieutenant nearby, so I will re-roll it on your behalf. Yep. Where's it gone? Four. It's a four. We've only got to nail it. Three wounded, but you've got a demonic save of... A four up, because he's a demon prince. Four plus save, coming up. Have you seen my rolling? I have seen it, yeah, so I'm expecting. Oh! So I think it's, is it D3 wound? No, it's a straight three damage of a Thunder Hammer, is it not? It oh, is, okay. flat three damage. So should, damage. I, should I spend it command point? Yeah, try it. I, I think, think I'm going to have to right, re roll yeah, one of them. First in there next time. That was my tactical advice about that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, so well, a command damage. point spell well spent yeah. the rest of the boys. Yep, yeah, rest of the intercessors, so hitting on threes, re rolling ones. Nice. There you go. Wounded on fives. Mm -hmm. oh, hello. Hello. Four wounds. Three up. Normal save. Oh, oh three. Dear. Well, oh, that'll dear. teach you for spending the command point so and saving yourself. Three. Right? So he's down to two. A little bit of morale phase. Um, the intercessors have lost eight, but they're within range of the uh, the ancient there. And Plus being ultramarines, ultramarines. Yeah. so that puts us up to. Uh, a much better leadership team. Leadership. So we're looking at what is it again? We need uh, a one or a two. One or a two. 
No, that's not a one or a two. They shall know no fear. Ooh. Oh, they go. They both go. <sighs> Get off. Go on. Not a lot has moved on our defensive side because we are holding the gate, which is the church, as you can see by Dave's lovely hands and, and groin. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, the lion bird man, has moved over ready to, to smash up all of it over there. Um, the uh, ancient has moved over to inspire most of the army, instead of just some of it. This squad of intercessors has pushed forwards to look what they can do over here. The aggressors have stood still because of the devastated doctrine. They don't get the special uh, ultramarines rule where they could fire twice or fire as if they haven't moved. So for them to get their full shots off, they're gonna stay still, but there's really no need for them to move because they're protecting the church. Same for the executioner. Yep. Up here, the captain's moved a little bit to provide the buff to the dudes on the floor. But over here, the squad that was with the demon prince have played the stratagem Fall back and re-engage. Yep. Meaning what, Dave? So they've fallen back out of combat, but playing that strategy means we can shoot without the minus one to hit for falling back, uh, which is the ultramarines thing. And then we can also charge as well. Brilliant. But he's only got two wounds. So. He's on two wounds, so hopefully we can um, give him some hammer time and smash his face. To shoot is going to be the aggressors, and we're going to be shooting the plague bearers here. We've got this many dice, plus we rolled 22 again, believe yep. it or not, for the frag storms. frag storms. So we'll see you at the end of, the <laughs> end yep. of this hour. Okay, so uh, before the battle begins, we uh, had Seal of Oath Relic, which was on our Lieutenant with a power sword. So this is where you pick an enemy unit and then you can re-roll hit rolls and wound rolls for attacks by friendly models within six inches of the relic. Uh, the Guess who's within six unit. inches of the relic? <laughs> Yeah, so it's the lieutenant there with a power sword who's got the relic, and the unit we chose was the plague bearers. So we were re-rolling hits and wound rolls for Bye. anything within six inches. <sighs> See you in a minute. Take, take that, Pat. Yeah, enjoy that one, Patrick, with your beard oil. The aggressors, we've spared you the hour and a half it took to roll the dice, and they've shredded this unit down to a mere three that remain. <laughs> How many were there? There were 23, 23 and they had minus one to be hit and you still turn them into mincemeat. Yeah, so... I'd that, say that was 20 dead. That's quick, Good quick, maths, quick <laughs> uh, As you can see, the dice are still rolling hot. But they can't be touched at the moment. <laughs> so moving on with the shooting, the, uh, the Primaris Ancient has shot and killed... Uh, sorry, he shot and missed one of the plague bearers. The Captain also missed, uh, despite his re-rolls, but the Lieutenant managed to get a shot off and killed one more. Last few they're going to be shooting the rusty boy over here. Councillor's Hellbrook. Yeah, Councillor's Hellbrook. So where are we going? Uh, threes to hit. Yep. The last few swords. Rerolling any ones because of the captain. Tasty. Two shots. The captain playing dividends. Uh, strength eight. Toughness seven. Mm. So yep. threes to wound. Threes, yep. No rerolls needed. AP is minus three. That is no. Nope. nope. Uh, so three damage apiece. So he's down to one. Good shooting, last few. If we had a third one, then yeah. he'd be annihilated. So good on the last few zones. Next up to shoot is going to be the intercessors down here. We've uh, withdrawn, going to fire because of the stratagem played. So we're looking at ten shots. Yep, yeah, okay. three's to hit. So we're yeah, looking for fives, I guess. Ooh, not you've many. Got you've got a lieutenant up there, haven't we? Yes. Oh, oh still no good. That's one. One. Oh, it's a good thing we played that stratagem, I think, then. Come on. So just it gives us a chance to bloody get the hammer in. Up, yeah. Just normal armor save, three yeah. up. Save. Oh, curses. Save. Will that extra charge discipline come in handy in a minute? Find out. This squad of intercessors is going to target the one wound hell brute with some hot rapid fire action. Go for it. Three's to hit. That's oh, more like oh, it. Again, That's more like it. So what we are after now? Fives? Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh. Two. Oh. Done. Oh. And he does not blow up. Oh. Remove from play. Leave a vacant blue dice. <laughs> Next up to shoot is the Redemptor Dreadnought. It's Onslaught Gatling Cannon. So the heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon is going to be shooting at the Terminators with the rest of its weaponry shooting at the plague bearers here. Yep. 
So we'll start with the heavy onslaught Gatling cannon, looking at threes to hit. No re rolls there, is there? No. The ones for the captain. uh, captain's nearby. Is he in buffing range? Oh, yeah, he is, yeah. Steve the Lion Birdman. He was so busy, it's just ones, isn't it? Terminators being toughness five means we are looking for. Fours? And there is a lieutenant. Yeah. Didn't help. It's not so the best roll, three. is it? Well, I'm very sorry, Billy. Yeah, you need to do, uh, do better, wins. essentially. Well. So one guy took a wound after all that. Okay, so there's the Storm Bolters and the Dreadnought now, shooting at the Plague Bearers. Yep, so threes, rolling ones. It's not great. Oh, is it threes? Or are... Yes, because they're under 20 now. Yeah, so they're, they're under 20 now. They're, they're <laughs> fl the flies have fled because something smellier has landed in the form of dice rolling. Yeah, looking for fours to wound. Rolling one for the lieutenant. Good yeah. rolling, Dave. In buns. Ooh. And disgustingly resilient. Come on. Nope, they are gone. Oh, the unit gone. The job done. Finally. Hey, the gate thing. holds. Birdman is going to shoot his twin bolters because he is being represented as a, a captain on a bike against the Mauler Fiend. It's a shame. It's such a poor, poor <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage! Throw in the bin! Melt it down! Right, look at the twos, we're rolling ones. Oof. Four hits, fives to wound. Oh. No, just one. Just the one. Just the one. Come on. Oh! Maybe with a three up roll. That's a shame, but we're going to smash his face in anyway in a minute. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you didn't want to kill him. No. Also, executioner. Dun dun dun. We are going to target. The Scarab Occult Terminators because there's no line of sight for the only real viable target. Well, that one over there. What's that one? Thanks to Build pesky building. buildings being in the way. So, the next most valuable target is going to be these guys. So, let's see it, Dave. Right, so we'll start with the, what is it, the Heavy Laser Destroyer. Heavy so Laser double Destroyer. Shots, he hasn't moved. That sounds harmless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if it can destroy. Threes to hit. All hit. All hits, four shots, right. So the strength of the weapon is 10. Two's so ten. Two's to wound. Two's to wound. And we've got Captain. two ones there. We've got Lieutenant, Lieutenant. nearby. Oh yeah. So hey. <laughs> that's four. AP on that is minus four. So oh, if you've four got an invuln save. So I'll take my five off invuln. Treat yourself to some invuln saves. And what's the damage? It's D6 with a minimum result of three, basically. <laughs> So, dead, dead Terminators. Dead Terminators, three really fails. Oh, oh dear, they would have failed armor saves. <laughs> wow. um, take it, mate. Yeah, just take it. Three dead Terminators. <sighs> Scarab oh. Occult. The laser destroyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has done what it does best and fired all its frenzied, aimless shots and finished off the, um, the Scarab Occult Terminators. <sighs> Pick it up and kick it now. Yeah. <laughs> so to shoot the intercessors, I'm going to be shooting at what are these guys called? Zangors. Zangors. Mm. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> looking for threes. Yeah, the toughness four. Oh, oh looking for fours. You can tell by their nakedness. Yeah. They're, bu they're buff. They're I so mean, ripped. Three. They're jacked. Like they don't like me when I come out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> they're so pumped like Jack. <laughs> right. Three saves, Dave. Three saves. That was only yeah. Have a fire up. Demon save. That's not nice. Bad. That's not a save. That's so three, three skin, uh, featherless birdmen dead. Leave <laughs> the lion birdman's charged in the less than one inch, well, just over one inch needed to get across the uh, bricks there. And over on this side, because of the stratagem we played, this squad were able to withdraw from combat, shoot mm -hmm. ineffectively, and then charge back in. <laughs> yep. So <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> also hoping ineffectively. Hoping, okay, yeah, indeed. So. He does count as a normal captain, not Primaris, but uh, he's counting. So we've got five attacks because of shock assault. Rerolling his own ones. Oh, that's strong style. Oof. With a thunder hammer, threes. he looks to smoke the enemy with threes. Oh, oh God! God. Is straight through like all of them. Five demon invuln saves. Nope. Nope. Oh. <laughs> that was close. Ish. Do explode. Can you make him explode, Dave? Um, I cannot. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, loud. I am not an admech. Right, see if you can blow that one. Okay. Oh, no, he's not. Well. So he's really well. smashed into cinders. 
He is dead. Cheerio, cheerio. Goodbye. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Next up to fight is going to be Six. the Intercessor Squad with the Thunder Hammer. Yep. So he's attacking got the Demon Prince. Four attacks, three to hit normally. The Thunder Hammer is fours, yeah? You're rolling. Oh, a couple Ooh. of hits anyway. But, you know. For the captain. Oh, negative. Mm. It's a couple of times now he's uh, not. on threes. Both wound. Come on, Dave. So I need to save both of these, otherwise yeah. he's squished. Yes. So, five up, demon save. Oh. Oh, come on, point. <laughs> oh, yes. it's hot rolling. Incredible work. You didn't have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yes. We survived the thunder hammer attack, but can he survive the rest of the squad's attacks? So Dave's minor shovel hands. Yep, so three's to hit, re-rolling ones. A couple, couple of those. Hands. Good rolling, Ooh, Dave. Oh, only one miss, so these are fives. Drop dice. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five. Well, one might have been wasted, mate. Lieutenant, <laughs> Lieutenant. Oh, Lieutenant. Yes. Oh. I think that's six. Six, six saves. Six. Can it be done? <laughs> Unlikely. What are we looking for? Three. Threes. Two wins left. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. No hot rolling from you, Rich. Oh no. No hot rolling. <laughs> what a waste of a command point, Dave. <laughs> you fools. If only you thought about it longer. <laughs> Removed from play. Let's just take a minute to uh, inspect this amazing model and paint job. Thunderbar! Get, get in the box. Get, 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 get off the board, get out of the house. Terminator's moved up as fast as they can, which is not fast. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, due to the mission, we can't actually deep strike a lot of our stuff. We had to we had to walk on and only reserves can yeah. come through the gate. So, so that, that's a shame because normally, because he's very slow of foot. You're, you're, oh, that, that Lord of Contagion, four inch move, mate. Yeah, but normally you'd be deep striking him, but unfortunately, it's a narrative game and that's just the way the cookie crumbles here. Mm -hmm. On this side? The Zangors have moved up and are waiting for the inevitable warp time from the Exalted Sorcerer. Awesome stuff. To move even further forward. And the Hellbrute has come around the building and is looking down the sights of his plasma weapon. Uh oh. There's a lot on offer. <laughs> there is a lot on offer. Okay. Arguably too much. <laughs> and on this side, anything happen? Uh, they stay still because they now get the Bolter Discipline rule. Being awesome. heretic as well as Good work. Short and sweet, these guys got off their relative version of the Super Smite causing D3 wounds. Yep. Causing, well, three wounds to Steve the Lion and Birdman. <laughs> Who's down to three, and he, uh, That was it, Bill. That was it, wasn't it, essentially? <laughs> because he whiffed his roll to give walk time to these guys, and then re-rolled one of the dice, and failed that too. And then tried Glamour of Zinch, and also failed that. So all in all, you failed everything psychic except the smite. <laughs> That's how I roll. All right. The hell brute. What's he targeting? He is going to try and take out this lone guy on one wound. Okay. Um, for strategic advantage for the rest of the shooting phase. Uh, so D three shots. Two shots. Oh. That's okay. And a dead zangor. <laughs> His feathers have come off. He's Go. missed. Uh, right, two shots hitting on uh, fours because he moved. That's two misses. Oh, dude. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Your rolling has been terrible. As good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot is the uh, Rubric Marines. Yep, so because they stood still, they are essentially rapid firing or shooting twice. Who are we shooting at? Uh, Steve. To the big captain guy because he is the closest model still and okay. the only viable option, really. Um, the guy with the pistol is out of range. So hit on threes, and then fives. Oh, Dave! <laughs> <laughs> uh, if these weren't your dice, chaotic dice, I would burn them. Indeed. That was a really good roll. That was a great roll. <laughs> <laughs> so, Plague Burst Crawler next. I will fire the Mortar at the Aggressors, yes. the Rothhell Volley Gun at the Aggressors, and the Entropy Cannons will go at the Redemptor. So let's shoot the Redemptor first. There's two shots, uh, one hit, and strength eight. That is a fail. Oh, wound. One. Okay, so the mortar, it gets four shots. That's hit on fours. That's good. That's good. Yes. And then wounding on twos. 
three wounds at minus two on the aggressors. So looking for fives. One's dead. Uh, yep, he's on one wound. He's definitely dead. With the one wound, guy, could, would you remove that one guy for me, please, Dave? Thank you very much. Next up. And the Rockhell Volley Gun. I get three hits. Ooh. Strong strong. Takes six. That's two wounds at minus two. So the, the aggressors again, yeah? yes. So fives. So, oh, he's oh, only gone and oh, saved it. Cheeky boy, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Such aggression! Okay, Foul Blightspawn is up next. He gets D6 shots. This is at the aggressors as well. The aggressors again, I want to get rid of the those vendetta, boys. The Vendetta, some would say. Five shots, oh, I'll take oh, that. Man. Here we go. With his Christmas decorations on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're straight to ten. Oh, oh. hell. Oh. Uh, I might command there? point one of those though, would you reckon? Yes. Okay. Command, command point, point one, yeah? Yeah, definitely. That's yeah, there we go. Four at minus three. Looking for sixes, yeah? Damage three, they're all dead. Oh my god. Thank god for that. They didn't even get to fire in the tactical doctrine. They did a bit of work. <laughs> but if you could please remove them oh, from the table for. Pains me to report oh. this out, Bill, but they're next to the banner. Oh, yes, oh, they no. are indeed. Thank you, Honest Rich. <laughs> Stand by for some uh, return fire. Of the um, the primary is ancient, we're going to look for the four pluses for them to fire again in death. Yep. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we spent a good two minutes discussing that yeah. rule, Bill. That's really Oh, bad. my lord. Oh, lord. It didn't work out. Oh, but well, they're gone. Gone forever. The Terminator's going in next to shoot. Who are you, who are you targeting? I'm going to take out those incestors if I can. That's okay. Always. Let's see it. To wound. Yeah, that is just the three then. No AP. Oh no. Three plus save on the Primaris. One takes a wound. Okay, so the Terminators will charge the Intercessors, the Standard Bearer, and the Lieutenant. So brace for Overwatch. You're off the chain. Okay, <laughs> here we go. This <laughs> includes the Lieutenant as well. No, it doesn't. We'll do him separately in a minute. But we've got the dice ready for those two, so. Let's go for sixes. Not a sausage. Any <laughs> re-rolling the ones? No one's in re range, are they? Uh, the captain's in range of the incestors, yeah. Yep. Okay. So pick up those three ones, Dave. Four. Not a sausage. And that's it. So let's see if we roll the charge distance required. What are we looking for? Uh, an no. eight will give me plenty of movement. That's a confident, confident charge from the Death Guard there. Next unit to charge is going to be the Dreadnought over here. Hellbrute. Where are we charging? Hellbrute. <laughs> Hellbrute. <coughs> Hellbrute. My fault. What are we charging? Uh, I am going to charge these intercessors here in a lovely line. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, not again. We're playing. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was the Street Fighter 2 pause tone. Of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> God God remix. 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 <laughs> Flavour. Right. Two command points cashed in. So we're going to pick other units to fight Overwatch. We're going to go less fusils. Um, repulsor. repulsor Executioner. So we come back after all the Overwatch from the Repulsor in particular, strip the um, Hellbrute down to one wound remaining, is that right? Yep. And one it wind. didn't make the charge with a roll of four. Everything else did fire Overwatch, but it was ineffective, but the Repulsor Executioner came into its own, so there's two command points well spent for us there. So the Sangors have made it in, they lost three through Overwatch, but they've made the charge well, and now we're going to see some combat. <laughs> it's my turn for lots of dice now. Prepare thyself. Prepare thyself. So, on three. hitting on threes. Brutal amount of hits have gone in. And now wounding on fours, because they are strength four. Uh, minus one AP on the save, so fours for the Marines to survive. Ooh. Oh dear. That's three. Three, so that's two Those Marines. Those two are brown bread. Please leave the board. Plague Marine, Terminators, and the Lord of Contagion made it into their charge. And now we're there. Special rule. Hateful Assault. That's the Hateful one. Hateful Assault. Not Angry Charge, which I always call it. Yeah, angry angry, angry charge. Spiky Charge. Uh, they got a lot of attacks, <laughs> so let's see what happens. Wow. Freeze. That will do. That is seven, wow. seven saves at minus two, please, Dave. Oh, loud. What's the damage? What's the damage? Uh, damage one, unfortunately. Oh. Okay, so it's gonna fives. Not a single one. Oh, man. Take seven wounds, please, sir. That's <sighs> one down to one wound. Leave the sergeant with the cape. Yeah, he looks cool. Eating 
devastating attack. And he's back in position because the cool guy's got the cape on, but he's bound to be buried in it. By the Lord of Contagion, presumably? Yeah. Let's see some hot action. The Lord of Contagion is fighting now. He's moved up a little bit. So one attack on the Primaris Incessor that he's next to, which hits. Just. Yep. And two. And, ooh, that's a good question. Here's... Man Reaper makes him strength seven, Ooh. so that's a fail. That doesn't move. Oh. Captain Capon lives tight. again. He's a Man Reaper. Man <laughs> Reaper. Play <laughs> weapon. Play weapon as we roll one. We can do the attacks coming now. They all hit. Oh no. I can re-roll that one to wound. There's two wounds on the standard barrel. Uh, minus three. Six years. One. D3 damage. Two wounds. Back the intercessors here. Going to attack the Sangors. If I just load the dice. Uh, threes to hit. Can we roll in the ones? Another one there. And then fours to wound. Is that right? Yeah. Tasty. Ooh. Tasty. A uh, lieutenant re roll. No. Oh, don't get all of them. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> Leave it out. Uh, saves, my good sirs. Three dead? Five, five dead. Five dead. <laughs> Ooh. Which ones are you going to pick? <laughs> Private joke. <laughs> oh no, the guy with the bird. Come on. I'll take these. There's only room on this table for one bird man. And he's leading the charge. Back, back over here, we'll go with the power sword lieutenant first. Twos. Twos. He's on twos, lieutenant. Wee. That's a good thing we checked because that's a good roll. Yeah, and it's against, loading on fives now. Isn't yeah, it? because they're toughness five terminators, so attacking. So re-rolling ones. Oh. Oh. oh! So three, three. have gone through. Alrighty, uh, invulnerable saves of a five up, and disgustingly resilient saves. Come on! Ugh, oh. Terminator dead. One terminator uh, is slain, which I think topples the balance. I think. You have now rested control back of the gate. It's modelled within three though, so it's going to be close. Ooh. Indeed. And so now it's going to be the Ancient attacking with his five attacks. Yep. Hitting on threes. Not as good. And then winning on fives. One's One, gone three. through. Saves. Oh, okay. And the Intercessor. He's a sergeant, plus he's been assaulted, so he'll have four attacks. Yep. Okay. Threes. Real that one for the Real. captain, mate. Yep. Oh yeah, the captain. Three hits. Now fives. Rolling one. Oh, one. Oh, tasty, boy. tasty little one's gone through. Nice. Ah. The morale phase, uh, you just rolled a one, didn't you? Yeah. So we've lost a couple. Ge genuinely. Genuinely rolled a hot one. <laughs> just drop it. <laughs> yeah. so Who would one. pretend so, to roll a one <laughs> during the morale phase? I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. So Take these two off. Well played, <laughs> well chosen. The intercessor squad that was on the foot, in the footprint of the building has advanced and ran through the wall mm -hmm. because the all important objective is the building here. The repulsor executioner has moved forward less than half, retaining its full shooting ability to um, screen somewhat and also shoot the dreadnought to hell. Uh, these guys have fallen back out of combat with the Zangors over here, this, the Ancient and the Lieutenant have fallen out of combat with the uh, Terminators. Dreadnought has remained stationary. The last remaining Intercessor Sergeant has taken cover in some ruins to see what he can do. The Reavers have arrived from Deep Strike and they are also in the scoring range of the building. And lastly, over on this side, Steve the Lion Birdman has made his big move, ready to tie these guys up in some sort of combat. So we're also spending two command points on fall back and re-engage. Yes. For another two command points, taking us down to two on that lieutenant, so he can uh, charge in again with his power sword. Indeed. And try and chop down another Terminator. Shoot, is the Primaris against the Sangors here. Oh. Davis, look. <laughs> Sorry, mate. What did they ever do to you? <laughs> Take in them. Yeah, uh, they stabbed us up. Three. Two misses. We're out of captain range now. Yep. 
Um, we might be in range of that lieutenant though, from the look of it. So okay. To wound. Good for fours, I think. Uh, we roll that one, the lieutenant. So it's three wounds. Three wounds with their fire up demon save. Ooh, oh, nice. Only the Scandalous. Back. Scandalous. Read my scroll. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Mastercrafted Stalker, Bolt Rifle. You have V2s to hit, yeah? Yeah. Re rolling ones. And then fours again. Oh. oh. Re rolling that one for the lieutenant. Oh. Goes through. Come on, Dave, do it again. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> To shoot is the captain with his master crafted stalker bolt rifle. Yep, hitting on twos. Oh, just in on fours. Oh, we're rolling a one for the lieutenant. Oh, oh he lives. <laughs> and his lieutenant's got lieutenant, one. Lieutenant, yeah, he's got he? one too. He hits. Uh, I think he might have missed. Actually. Oh, yeah, no, in fact, he has missed. He's gonna fire his bolt rifle because we're desperate to get this little uh, why'd say it? So and so, <laughs> you mop off the your ball. mouth, wash your mouth out. So, two <laughs> shots hitting on. Three. Where are he finally? Uh oh. Wounded on fours. Oh. Come on, Dave, come on, Dave. Come on. One wound. Come on. Oh, That's he's cops. dead. <laughs> <laughs> finally. No! Clear off. <laughs> the lonely intercessor is going to be targeting the Lord of Contagion. Yep, It'll be so. two shots of his bolt rifle. Yep, minus one because you fell back. Yep. Yeah. We're still, just to be so clear, we are still in the Devastated Doctrine because at this stage, uh, we, we've all got so many heavy weapons left on the board. We thought we'd stick with think it. Top five. Yeah, so no wounds. Up the last few souls are going to be targeting the Dreadnought down in the streets. So hit on threes, we're rolling ones. It's Cox, it's a two and a five, so one hit. Uh, strength eight, so we're looking at threes to wound. Oh, oh, the lieutenant. Lieutenant. Hey. oh, well worth the lieutenant turning up. So, AP minus three. Ooh. Flat three damage. He's gone. Oh, He's gone. Oh, does he blow up? He does! Oh, no. It affects all of no one. Crap, now I have to look up the bird. Are we in range? Maybe. Explosion bubble is only three inches, so the uh, they're safe. So he's taken out of play, <sighs> blowing up in the street. So it did go up, but it just warmed our cockles. Repulsor Executioner, targeting the Terminators with the main turret guns of the Laser Destroyer and the Gatlin Cannon. Right. In yep. fact, you want to shoot everything at them. Yeah, yep. Yeah, let's just go for it. Something else, yeah. Okay, big gun first. Yep, so three to hit. Captain reroll. Captain. Captain's been great. Okay. Uh, so it's a strength 10. So two's to wound. Yeah. Three wounds, AP minus four. That is no in Van Save's past, so he dies. And do you want to roll damage for the other two, Dave? Do you not get this custody? Uh, he's on so one. of them is damage four, the other one, oh, both damage four. So you've got eight disgusting and resilient save, is that right? You can uh, get no, I've got to do four and four. Oh, okay. So four, uh, he takes two wounds and dies, and then the other one takes three wounds. Brutal round shooting there. So next up is the heavy onslaught Gatling Cannon oh, okay. against the last remaining Terminator. Yep, hitting on three, so we're running ones. What a sickening. Oh, go away. It's two, <laughs> two, two, oh, three yeah, misses. Yeah, three misses, we'll take that. Uh, okay, strength five, so we're doing fours. Lieutenant oh. rerolls. Oh, is that two ones there? Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. So four. Uh, discussing resilience. Yes, he's on one wound. No, he lives with one bolters. Twin heavy bolters, six shots, threes to hit. We're rolling a one. It goes like that sometimes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this tank, <Four>. I swear. <laughs> We're rolling that one for the lieutenant. No, so that's four saves. AP minus two. Uh, yep, so disgustingly dead. Disgustingly dead. <laughs> Off the board. Possibly and of course we didn't split five in here, so the rest of it's like 5,000 guns will remain unfired. It's just putting on a nice display. Yeah, not some fire. Shoot, away. it's going to be the Dreadnought, but first of all we're playing Wisdom of the Ancients for one command point, which allows him to become a captain essentially, and allows himself and everyone around him within a certain distance to re-roll ones to hit. Let's go Dave, we're shooting at the Lord of Contagion, who's going to get it in the face. 
Heavy old slot, Gatling cannon, 12 shots, hitting on threes, re rolling the ones. Uh. Nice. <laughs> nice. Three misses. Horrendous! So looking at fours to win, I think. Is he tough as five? He is tough as five. So is that still right? It's still fours, yeah. Yeah, fours. Of course. Yeah. So <laughs> five saves. Minus two AP. Oh dear. Oh dear. Disgusting He's Warlord trait gives him a disgusting resilience on a 4 plus. Oh wow, that's strong. Yeah, it is. It takes yeah. one. He's only taken one wound after that. It's going to be the Underslung Mounted Flamer. Yep. So D6 auto hits. Four. Oh, I'll take that. Class one. Yeah. We've got fours. Safe. Finally, it's going to be the. Um, Bolt, uh, the Storm Bolters times two. Okay, threes to hit, we roll the ones. Oh, Dave. Not needed, oh, Dave. What are you doing to us? Dave's washed his dice in Patrick's chicken blood. <laughs> and then oh. Can I trade Dave's with you, Bill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, winning on fives this time, I think. It's only one, two. Two wounds. Oh, oh, that's nice. Tough as now. Uh, Icarus Rocket Pod. <laughs> of course. Have we got that? Yeah. Of course, it's the repulsor again. It's stuck on with tack, believe it or not. <laughs> First rocket pod shooting at Lord of Contagion. So, D3 number of shots for one. Oh, our demon luck has run out. Hitting on fours because of the minus one. No. Go home time. <sighs> the last thing to shoot is going to be the Reavers against the Lord of Contagion. Yep. Hitting on threes. Four hits. Wounded on fours. Oh. The yeah, lieutenant's right. not close enough. So it's two wounds. And then disgustingly resilient. No, Ooh. takes one more. Yeah, Steve the Birdman <laughs> captain is going to shoot at the uh, rubric marines here. Steve, come on, Steve. Hitting on two as we on one. Oh, <laughs> one! <laughs> Chapter three. Oh, Wounded on fours. Oh. Two up save. Two up save. Snake eyes, one man. damage, so all his dust means they improve their save by a one. <laughs> There's a one there, isn't it? <laughs> Gone. <laughs> okay, that's all the shooting done, I believe. Yep. On to the charge phase. First up to charge is going to be the Steve the Birdman. So, uh, three rapid firing Inferno bolt guns. And an Inferno Bolt Pistol, which, as it is the first time you shoot in all game, I'm going to save it. Save it. So, and enjoy. Inferno it. Bolt Guns. Oh, there's two. And the Bolt Pistol. No. Ah. Oh. There you go. One wound at minus two. Four plus. Cool. Oh. Oh. Nails it. Saves it anyway. Charge distance for Steve the Birdman. Oh dear. Ooh. Oh, Gonna come up point one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> hey! oh! Classic. <laughs> God. First attack is gonna be with the dreadnought. It's redemptive fist into the, con uh, the Lord, Lord of, of Contagion's contagion. dirty face. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So it's hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because he's ancient. He's got isn't it? wisdom of the ancient still. Yeah. Nope. Uh, didn't pay off that time. Two hits, so wounding on twos. Two wounds. Uh, one taken, one failed. Disgusting resilient. Takes one wound. Oh. Is swinging his shiny sword of cleanliness with a wet wipe <coughs> to decontaminate the contagion. Lord. Let's go. Uh, so five so attacks sorry. hitting on twos. Strong narrative. <laughs> Four hits, wounded on fives, mm. rolling ones. Oh. oh, that's not, that's not too bad. Oh, come oh. on! <laughs> three, <laughs> three wounds, AP minus three. Ooh. Saves two, oh. disgustingly resilient. No, he takes mm. them up. Uh, we're chipping away, but not quite enough. And there's nothing else for us to attack, is there? Because uh, Steve the Birdman didn't make it in. No. So it'll be your time to attack back? Yep. In the Lord of Contagion attacking back. Uh, yep, I'm going to put uh, three on the uh, Dreadnought and two on the uh, Lieutenant. So the Dread takes three hits. Oh. Uh, three oh. wounds oh. and minus three. Dave. Devastating. Oh. So sixes. 
Three, four, four, three, three wounds. That is oh! seven wounds. Terrifying power. Two on the lieutenant. Uh, two hits. There we wow. go. Two wounds. Two saves at minus three. So six plus nothing. Two d three damage. Oh, come on, point that. Oh, it's paid off. Go. Five <laughs> wounds. Lieutenant has been uh, crushed oh. under the weight of a dirty axe. What have you got against this axe? <laughs> it's filthy. It's rusty. And he's just locked the head off, my lieutenant. You've killed a character, is that right? You've got That's right. a chaos boon roll? I've spent one command point to roll on the chaos boon table. So it's 2d6 for slaying a character. I get a 7. I may choose a boon of my choice. Ooh. Except I cannot choose I cannot choose spawn them or demon oh, okay. So we've picked a boon. I'm going for plus iron encrustments. It adds plus one to all my saving <laughs> throws. That sounds awesome. Plus one to all your saving throws. Horrendous. So at the end of that turn, and turn looking two. Yeah, turn two of all things, a, a bloody and brutal game on both sides. With um, the the uh, the gate, the building firmly in control by the void stalkers, despite the, the uh, Immediate pressure from the chaos forces, boys. What do you reckon? Awful. I think we're going to call it <laughs> <laughs> horrendous time. Yeah, Terrible. I think we're going to call that. We've got a can for the models left. I have a unit in reserve. Dave has two spawn in reserve, but due to the mission rules, Ooh, we, yeah, the deadly spawn, <laughs> we cannot get them onto the table until we control the gate. We cannot control the gate without them. So we're in a bit of a catch twenty-two. I think we're going to concede um, rather than play out a turn where uh, we don't get to do much. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to the impulsive ex um, repulsor executioner, we haven't yeah, got time to play ridiculous. anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was tempted to charge it as many things as possible just to make you roll dice all day, but um, I was tempted. Who got time for that? Hmm. <laughs> I'll drop kick it out the window. <laughs> oh, it's so bitter. No, Gentlemen, great game. It's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure having you over. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yeah. Cheers, Dave. Bully, yeah. bully, Dave. Bully, 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 bully. 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 Cheers, sir. Imperial victory. Rematch coming soon, I hope. Yes. Void Stalkers! Void Stalkers! First time ever! <laughs> See you all next time. Thank you very much for watching.